Elite Cup Reef. Um, first, I'm going to show off this figure. This is cool. Um, this is actually the Falcons one. But uh, I found some guy in Omaha, this was a few years back, who, who could paint customs. And he said he'd paint me the retro Eagles Vic one. I think it's pretty sick. It's the 12-inch uh, one, but I just want to show off this figure real quick. So, put that aside. Now let's break some baseball. 2015 Top Scrum Jumbo. I broke a box this earlier today. Um, pretty, pretty rough. The auto's in it, but it, it's a white auto pool, like most products, you know. So I wasn't surprised by it. Um, one thing I wasn't too pleased about was the, the lack of color. I thought for a jumbo box I'd be seeing more color than I did. I feel like I only got two colored refractors that were numbered. I think that number should be at least three or more at least. I mean these are what, 120 a box, 130. So I mean value wise this isn't the best product. But I'm gonna go through this this product and I'm sure you guys have seen it already. But um there's some SPs and stuff. So we'll just go through the cards and just kind of talk about the design. Actually, I actually love the design, you know. Obviously, it's just the tops design, and they added chrome on. But I like the tops design this year. So here's the base. There's a Colton Wong. Something I love about these cards is the little tops all-star rookie. They've been doing that since, like, what, early 90s? I remember that a 1990 Ken Griffey card when they did that. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints about the refractors. Like people can't tell there's their refractors or not. I don't understand that. M maybe I break more than most people, but y you can clearly see the glare on that. I'm sure you guys can catch that too. So that's a refractor, and then this is a chrome commencements Polanco from last year, and this would be a I think they call these pulsars. They're not numbered though. And then here's an all star. I'll start rookie George Springer second year card, and then we have the rookies. I'll make a se separate stack for these guys. There's a Puig. Man, he looks heavy in that picture. What, what did they list him at? Two thirty-five. Rookie, and then the photo variations. If you guys spot one, let me know. I mean, I don't know exactly what to look for. I know some of the pose. The pose is different, obviously. So here's the base cards. Austin Jackson. He's on the Cubs now randomly. Um, refractor is Chris Owings for the Diamondbacks. And then that's cool. A uh, Prism, Carlos Rodon, White Sox. And that's not bad. I like Swihart for Boston. He's actually filled in nicely. Kept his average around 275, on base around 340. That's not numbered because it's the base version, but it is on card. Shoemaker. the base. So there are 12 packs. And I know Lindor is an SP and I believe Correa is an SP in this stuff too. The cards feel really nice quality wise. Here's a Future Stars uh, Michael Franco, a player that I enjoyed watching his highlights. Not numbered. It looks like it should be though. It's a nice looking card. It's got like a blue background. And then Gallery of Greats. These are pretty cool too. A lot of cool cards in this stuff. Uh, you see a Puig, and then we have a refractor of Lacroix. Oops, uh, Rua. That's a cool shot right there of Alex. Kendall Graveman and Daniel Norris with a scratch down it. <clears throat> Here's our base. The rookie card. Second auto's in, and it is Jake Lamb, who actually plays a lot for the Diamondbacks at third base. That's just the base version. I'm not sure how many colors you get for a box. I'm sure it varies. And then a refractor of Keiko. There's a Jake Lamb. Matt Barnes. There's a Rusney, who is playing more now. I got this guy's auto in the last box. And a uh, color number refractor him. So I was like, great. John Holds come. Um, Yimi Garcia rookie. De Honored. He's actually playing pretty well, I, I believe. There's a Dalton Pompey. 
he is a feeling man this guy's such a goon he was a he was a thorn in our side in the playoffs last season um Carlos Gonzalez prism and then uh, Xavier Scruggs green something's on this card huh it's like a sticker or something Scruggs green to 9 9 there's a numbering on that one can't stand the Cardinals so that one will go in the store I'm sure there's a lot of people that love them now they're a good team Michael Taylor that's a cool card I thought that was an SP in my first box but it's not it, it looks like it would because he's jumping we've already got three autos in the books Trapino Stephen Moya who I don't even think he's been up at all this year he showed pl promise last year there's an Adam Jones refractor uh, Rendon Prism cool f cool photography there's Cueto he's really been pitching terrible for us hopefully he can pick it up before we go to the playoffs this might be an SP Chris Bryant not sure on that but base that's awesome I think that was in the playoffs you can tell because all the fans are in coats so that was the end of October not even going to try to pronounce that one cards are really cool this stuff's a blast to break, but from an economical standpoint, it's a heavy dent on the wall. <laughs> Trevor May, We've got a gold here. Kenny's Vargas, who I, he hasn't done anything this year. RJ Alvarez, and then, oh man, that would have been awesome if we would have kept him. That's a cool cane. Brandon Finnegan, gold. He's on the Reds, he just got called up to 50. <laughs> Nice looking card. And then Future Stars Pompeii. And a Joe Mara Refractor. It'll be fun to do a group case break of this. I've been pondering getting back into that, but you know, it takes a lot of time and energy, first of all, to get people to actually join breaks and then to actually package everything. People that break stuff know all about that. I broke for a while and very time consuming stuff um, the newest Dodger there's a Chase Utley Blue Refractor I think those are 150 yep. it's always been a good player and then we have Christian Walker Refractor and James McCann that's it um, what, what are we waiting on, two autos? Correa have an auto on this? I don't, I don't think he does for some reason there's a rookie don't know a lot about him. Norman Rodriguez. There's Buck Farmer. He's in everything. Um, Yadi. Yadier Molina. And that's a shitty one. Um, first of all, Tanaka Prism. That's cool. Hunter Strickland. I don't know a lot about him. I think he's just a relief pitcher. That's not really what you're looking for. Um, Spannenberg. There's a Mauer Bays, Brents, and Walker. We got one auto left. I think we're done with the uh, colored refractors. I think we got ours. We got something in here, though. That's cool. Uh, Michael Franco refractor. And Garrett Richards Prism. And, oh, that's an SD. Orange. Uh, Franco to 25. Future Stars insert. I like that one. And base. So two packs left. Lobstein. Cards are sticking together. Archie Bradley. Uh, Trapino. He's in everything too. 250 for the Angels. There's a Brent's Refractor. Keiko, back to back beard SPs. There's Sal. That's a great shot. Look at that. Full extension. Alright, last pack. Um, and then I'll do a quick recap. Looks like we have a. Not sure. Maybe we already had five autos. I lost count. There's a Franco base. Nope, there's our fifth. 
not the one you're looking for at all. Did they use that same picture in Bowman too? <laughs> so lazy. Edwin Escobar, he's a relief pitcher for the Red Sox, so that's another crappy one. Uh, Norris, Future Stars, and then we have a Blackman Refractor, so that's it. Um, not the greatest box, probably could have been worse. So this is what you get for a box breakdown. There's your, that's the vet base, so pretty good stack of vet base. And then these are all rookies, plus the Chris Bryant I put into the other stack. This is kind of like a product breakdown, so you guys can see what this product's all about. And then this is all like inserts, refractors, autographs, so let's just flip through them. There's the first auto, Trapino Purple, that was nasty. Orange Franco to 25. Um, Hunter Strickland, don't know anything about him. Utley to 150. Gold Finnegan to 50. Chris Bryant, I'm not sure if that's an SP, I don't think so. Um, Green Scruggs to 99. Jake Lamb. Swihart. And that is it. So it wasn't terrible. There's a lot, there was a, a little value in there. Thanks, guys.